Hello everyone, uh, today's lesson we will learn how to find uh, every physical properties using Aspen Glass. Uh, let's start our work. Uh, let's go to new. So we can start filling our object component. Now we fit our objective components. So our next step is to find uh, all data, you know, including boiling point, melting point, critical pressure, critical temperature, and every physical uh, property data. So using Aspen Plus, we can easily calculate or we can easily uh, find uh, all these properties. So just we first we fit the the components. And then we will go to, uh, you know, at, at the bottom area here. So we will say review. So now we can easily see all the uh, properties. Uh, so we can see specific uh, standard AP gravity ionic charge number, um, polar factor, uh, difference between liquid and solid, CP at triple point. So we can easily see all these parameters just using the Aspen class. So you can see uh, specific gravity, uh, normal boiling point, normal critical temperature, uh, freezing point temperature, triple point temperature. And you, you can see uh, all the properties uh, using the Aspen data. So here you can see the properties uh, and, and parameters on this row, and also you can uh, cross check, uh, for example, for acetone. So, for example, uh, we can pick some, for example, critical pressure for acetone is here, and for alcohol is there and for oxygen you can see it here and also uh, you can we can easily see uh, all the parameters also we can change uh, the uh, so the next thing i want to show you is let's do some uh, pure substance and mixture analysis so we can do some analysis using the aspen plus and uh, we can also let's uh, run uh, the properties then we will go to okay let's check uh, some the uh, property method let's, let's do the property method select the property method uh, our live server is you know always uh, next the next button is our live server so let's continue Uh, let's go to the pure then we'll see the uh, physical properties of pure substance by changing some parameters and we'll, saw, we'll see how the the change of some parameters is uh, being affected uh, uh, or the change of some parameter is affecting uh, some uh, other parameters so for example uh, let's go to pure so let's take uh, one component then we'll see uh, let's take uh, water then let's see let's start with transport property and let's select some parameter any parameter let, we can take uh, the the this uh, thermal conductivity then we can check and let's uh, 
uh, thermal cond conductivity in terms of uh, kilowatt per meter you can select so the starting point temperature is we, we are taking the temperature in degree Celsius so we can start starting point 0 and end point 100 you can also change that point and also let's uh, you know uh, this is uh, an the interval just we wanted to uh, see on our graph so we can maybe we can see uh, in the interval of 0.5 we can pick 0.5 interval and so let's uh, click on the run analysis button now we can see uh, the graph of uh, K versus temperature of water. So we can easily see that as we uh, increase the temperature and the as we increase the temperature, the uh, thermal conductivity of the water is increasing. You can easily see that. Uh, so the thermal conductivity here is increasing as we increase the temperature. So we can also see another uh, component or another uh, parameter for example uh, let's see uh, thermodynamic property maybe we can see some other property uh, we can see the density of the water and how it can be affected uh, with respect to temperature so So we can see that temperature, the uh, at, uh, density uh, uh, kilogram per cubic meter. So we'll set the temperature zero to one hundred, and the increment we can. Uh, uh, so so we can we can see the intervals. Uh, I mean at five hundred five fifteen intervals. So so. We already uh, moved, uh, we selected water here, and let's uh, click on the run button. Uh, I mean, uh, run analysis, then you can uh, click on here, and we can easily see what can happen as we increase the temperature of water and how we'll see. Now we can see the density of the water is decreasing as we increase the temperature. Why this? This is because uh, the volume of uh, the water will be increased uh, as we increase the temperature so that our density uh, is mass over volume as it's always constant but uh, the volume is increasing and uh, so the density will be declining as we increase the temperature. So we can also change uh, the parameters and also we can change uh, the components and we can see uh, different uh, parameters just using uh, property analysis using Aspen Plus. Uh, so